Hey people, welcome back to another pickups video. Uh, to be honest, there won't be as much of these uh, uh, as there was because I've got big plans with my life and I need to start saving money. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> basically, I'm moving out within a year. Uh, I'm trying to work on losing a lot of weight and reversing, hopefully, reversing diabetes and. Sorry for the angle, because, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just time to fly in the nest, basically. So, I need to start saving a lot of money, and you're probably going to see a few uh, pickup videos, but other than that, you'll probably just have the PS4 unboxing when I get that. But that's basically it. <laughs> uh, so, it's kind of a sort of hiatus, sort of not kind of thing but yeah anyway first game I'll show uh, I, I didn't actually spot this Moosh uh, uh, 1512 or 1512 however you want to say it um, I'll leave a description in I'll leave a link in the description below so we've got that muddled up but he spotted this game, and me being a massive fan of the series, you've probably just seen it there, uh, I had to have it. <laughs> and it was only £4, and it was Metal Gear Acid 2. And it is complete, it comes with the uh, goggles, which is really, really awesome. And this game is fantastic. If you, you know, you've never actually played it, you've always wanted to play it, it's, you kind of you're into them card games and stuff, this, this is perfect. And, it's even better if you're a Metal Gear fan like I am. Uh, really fantastic game. So happy to get that, and I am trying to get all the US versions of Metal Gear as well as the Japanese ones, but that's kind of sort of on hold at the moment. In the, the minute. So, yeah. Next game is Project Exxon. Now, I'm really enjoying this. I fell in love with the demos, and it's really fantastic. I mean, I'm not really into that type of genre of gaming, like the tactical RPG uh, side, but this, this and Fire Emblem Awakening has really got me into them, so that's re really awesome. Highly recommend you picking that up. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> it also comes with a uh, poster, which is awesome. We didn't get a limited edition, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> So I might import that somewhere down the line, but the limited edition comes with a soundtrack and art book. And I got a, I got told that by a another YouTuber on here. She's called Jurassic. I'll leave a link to her channel as well. Really, really awesome channel. You should take, check it out. Uh, we got we got the poster though, <laughs> but it might I think it's diff it might be different in the limited edition. But we did get the. Uh, also, which is really awesome. I might get a tiny little frame and put that on my wall or something. But it's really nice. But yeah, we didn't get a limited edition. We only got a normal standard. And I got this for my good friends at Super Games World, uh, a shop in Middlesbrough. It's not far from me, but it is sort of. <laughs> not really, it's about what, 20, no, about 10, 15 minutes in a taxi, but uh, yeah, they're a great store and they do really great discounts and do have really great prices and stuff, so you should def definitely, if you're in the area, you should check them out, and they, they did me a nice deal with this. Also, another game I got from a uh, Super Games World, and it's an import. We didn't get, we don't get this till September, which is quite, kind of annoying. I don't think we actually get the art book either, because I've seen nowhere in the description unless you have an updated. But yeah, the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. Now, a lot of people have been a bit meh with this. I think it's 
decent price for what for all the games that you get with it and the fact that you get both uh, digital graphic novels in there we didn't get the second one released over here which is you know it's always a bonus and VR missions actually on the PS3 other than buying a P PS1 version of the game I thought I think it's a good deal I mean the price of it I mean you basically get what Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2 is Solid Snake, the original MSX games Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid VR missions, Metal Gear Solid 2, 3 you get Peace Walker, you get Metal Gear Solid 4 and both graphic novel movies. That, to me, that's that's a good deal. The only gripe I have, to, I have with this, now, I'm not one of those Metal Gear fans that will, well, I do praise the games a lot, but I will pick faults where needed. Basically, it's repackaged. Metal Gear Solid 4 is just repackaged. Metal Gear Solid HD Collection is just repackaged. It just has a different label on the actual disc. But when you put it in the system, it doesn't actually say a Legacy Collection, it just says Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. And uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 just says Metal Gear Solid 4, Runs of the Patriots. Now, it would have been a nice addition if they did actually put the Legacy Collection on the actual, you know, data where it's red and stuff and all that. But, whatever. <laughs> um, Metal Gear Solid and VR missions are digital downloads, which is understandable because Metal Gear Solid 1 is only digitally downloaded. But they do have enough space to put them on the discs. They could easily, you know, put them on the disc at least somewhere. But, it's all repackaged, so... But, then again, basically, the both graphic novels are on the HD collection disc, so they could have easily shot Metal Gear Solid and VR missions on there. But whatever, for you know, for people, basically, it's for people that haven't experienced Metal Gear and they really want to experience, get a taste of Metal Gear before Metal Gear Solid Five comes out. And it's understandable, so if you want it, definitely go out and get it. It's well worth the money, you know. You get basically eight, eight gear. I mean, one, two, yeah, eight games and two graphic graphic novels, and you also get a uh, art book inside. I mean. Yeah, a lot of people will be like, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a rip-off, but if you think about individual pricing, it's really not that bad, to be fair. And me being a massive Metal Gear fan, I had to get it anyway. But it's basically for the people that want to get up to speed with the Metal Gear series. I just wanted it for my collection, but I have opened it and played it and downloaded the Metal Gear stuff. So. But yeah, that's the uh, sleeve. I, I I really like the sleeve, like the front of it. It's got really nice, uh, got really nice artwork and stuff. And I like the quote: "We fight because we are needed by Big Boss." That's kind of true. <laughs> yeah, obviously you have the. Uh, sorry about the noise. It's my fan, and it's extremely hot in this room. So <laughs> then you have the game, which is basically the same. Then obviously you have uh, discs with the different label on. It's awesome. Then you have to call it the Metal Gear Solid, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 and the uh, VR missions. Then just leaflets and basically you have obviously the manual. Now. I was kind of disappointed in the manual actually, but it's usually you have nice artwork and colours, colour, it's colourful, but this wasn't it and basically has nothing, uh, just, this controls an out of play each game, that was kind of disappointing because I, I usually like to see the uh, nice artwork 
it would have been nice to blend it all in. And you have the uh, art book, which is full of uh, promotional posters and different game box art and cards and stuff. Metal Gear Online. I miss that. It's such a really fantastic online. There's different box art and stuff. It's kind of hard to show, to be honest. But I'm not going to go all the way through this. I'm going to show you like different stuff and all that. But yeah, it's got a lot of artwork and I'm really pleased with it. And I really like how they include that as well. The Ground Zero's promo posters. That's really, really awesome. Well, I am happy with it. And I will be getting the UK version when it gets released in September. And yes, I will be opening it because I don't plan on keeping uh, I like with my stuff if I'm not going to be using it and because I know the UK stuff have slightly different different uh, artwork and stuff like that so I will be opening the uh, UK one if not I'll just you know but I don't, I don't like, I like to have my main series unsealed so I can grab it and look at it and stuff like that. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. You're probably going to be like, oh, you're a hypocrite, yeah? But with my main series, I like to have everything open where, you know, if I find something cheap or I have the same identical item, or it's a, it's a really awesome gift from a friend then I'm going to keep it in pristine condition or even keep it sealed if I have it anywhere and this item I have anywhere <laughs> I bought obviously the um, is it the collector's edition limited edition one or two but basically yeah you know, you'll know what I mean when I show you Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword now my good friend Moosh actually got me this from Tesco and it was only £10 and it's sealed <laughs> obviously um, I obviously I already have this open that's, good. that's obviously going to get played and eventually completed this will never be opened and to be honest it probably would never be sold because this is a great gift off a really great friend of mine so yeah, it's gonna it's gonna keep in the box. I don't know why I didn't grab the box when I was trying to say limited edition. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's gonna stay in the box and never ever to come out ever again after this video. Basically, uh, it also comes with the uh, soundtrack. It even says limited edition on it too, so that's quite that's quite that's quite awesome. But yeah, this this will never get ever ever get opened unless it accidentally starts peeling open. But I will never open this with my human hand. And if anyone ever does, I'll be really pissed off. <laughs> but yeah, uh, really awesome gift and a big thank you to uh, Moosh for getting me this. I really appreciate it. And now it won't go back in the box. So now it's going to be here. It will go back in the box, it's just been done. There we go. Now, the next thing I've got, I've seen this in Super Games World, again. And I didn't think I would actually see this out in the wild, wild because it, uh, you have to import it or something, because I don't think it's actually in the UK properly. And it weighs a ton. <sighs> now, Chris, I do apologise, because he'll probably get off at me when I show, show this because he really wants it and it's the sky uh, the art of Final Fantasy <laughs> it comes in this massive box and it is heavy really heavy and I'm pleased to have this because I, I actually wanted this uh, when I first seen it and they see it out in the wild over here in the UK is fantastic the only problem is 
this I didn't have this when I bought this uh, somehow this happened I have no idea how to be honest but it has a slight scuff right there which I have no idea how because I haven't dropped it I haven't knocked it over so that is beyond me but yeah it comes with three really heavy box you might think wow you are weak but <laughs> to be honest when I when my mate was saying this is this was heavy I was basically like no it can't be that heavy come on and it's heavy it's really heavy <laughs> so yeah uh, I'll show you the box I won't show you ah uh, in it because yeah <laughs> Because it's kind of hard to hold all these so that's the first book this has a uh, one to three I think Shut the book. yeah that's one to three artwork one to three of the Final Fantasy game so that's awesome that, well they're all awesome this second book <laughs> which is heaviest this has the artwork of four, uh, four to six, which is awesome. Again, I should stop saying that after everything. Let me just get this up here so I can put these back in. So heavy. I mean, not heavy individually, but when they're all in this box, it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> Type thing. I don't want to drop that. If I drop that, I'm really going to be pissed off with myself. Then you have the uh, third book. Red, my favourite colour. <laughs> I mean, the artwork is stunning in this. I mean, you have to literally... I've uh, probably watch a video of someone actually showing the full artwork. Or I might do a separate video showing the full artwork of each book. But yeah it's fantastic it's awesome and that book uh, has basically turned it on 7 to 10 which is really awesome so yeah to find this out in the wild and actually own it and I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy it's a pleasure to own this and I'm so happy to have it in my collection minus the scuff <laughs> but yeah really really pleased to own that and yeah <laughs> but trust me go on, if you want it go and, go and get it it's well worth the money uh, I was kind of tight with money at the time so I, I kind of shouldn't have spent it but I wanted it and you buy what you want basically so um, but yeah that that that's everything I've got over the past few weeks or something. Uh, there'll probably be one pickups video next week and that'll probably be it uh, for a bit. But yeah, until uh, next time guys, uh, eat chicken, not bacon anymore. Because I really, I've kind of cut bacon out of my life uh, a lot more because how you know, health and trying to get thin. But, uh, Anyway, eat chicken, play Metal Gear, and keep being awesome, guys. Bye.